Hi guys, this is your girl Sin and Z, and we're back with another one for you today. And today, <laughs> <laughs> today we're checking it, checking our culture shocks in England. Ten things that shocks America. So let's get into this one. All right, we're not doing a long talking. Let's get into this video. Here we go. I hope everybody's doing okay. Don't it? Yeah. Thank you. Here we go now. <laughs> And today we are going to tell you 10 things that were culture shock for us when we arrived here in England. The first thing that shocked us when we arrived in England was just how many foreigners there are in London. We'd always heard that London was multicultural, but just the extent of foreigners that were there was really shocking to us. And not in a bad way, it was just surprising because when we were coming to England, we're like, oh, there's probably gonna be a lot of English people and we'll be hearing lots of English. But when we were in public, about 90% of the languages we were hearing around us were foreign languages and not English. Pretty everywhere. much everywhere was represented in London. So that was really cool. And to just hear all of the different languages, because we feel like, I mean, Seattle's pretty multi multicultural as well, mm -hmm. but not to the extent of London. Like, no way. Just all of the languages and everyone speaking different languages in, their, in like the restaurants, we'd be sitting at our table and each table was speaking a different language. There'd this be, happened every time we yeah, went Yeah, pretty much every time. <laughs> The, the table of Koreans, we could, we could always hear them because Korea. we understand a tiny bit of Korean. So we're all like, oh. we're, we lived in Korea for two years. Yeah, so we're like, don't know. The Koreans, French people, um, Eastern European people, just everywhere. Number two. Number two. That's understandable because you always hear a lot of people visiting the um, London. Yeah. They always head to London. They want so it's a tourism it is. set area when you think about it. Yeah, and I know like a lot of Africans too, they go there for schooling. A lot of like most Nigerians also. Like a lot of us like go back there for school and stuff like that. A Ooh. lot of my people, Congolese people are there too. Interesting. So, yeah. yeah. My cousin told me that too. Like it's very much my culture. Like it's a lot of people. So that's understandable. All right. And and and, and I, when I go there, I'm going to visit oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, so, the subways are really small. It was actually shocking because um, our experience with subways is in Korea and Japan, and these subways are very wide. There's mm -hmm. lots of standing room. They're also very tall, but the tube, as it's called in London, actually looks kind of like, like a, tube. a tube. Yeah, it makes sense. It's <laughs> like not tall, or at least the ones that we rode on were not tall, like all the way across mm -hmm. in the ceiling, but it's, it's kind of like, like a box curved box. or whatever. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like curved maybe yeah. not all of them are that way but the ones that we wrote on were that way so yeah. it was interesting it was just surprising and shocking how small the tube was at least the tubes that we wrote speaking of tube oops that brings us to number three i see that because in the video you saw when one of the like people are exiting their door is almost touching the, the exit door to leave i mean sorry the head is touching <laughs> the exit have you been like on a train but that was in chicago oh no i have i've, I've, I've rode the train yeah, so, so many times in new york but, oh yeah that's for sure you, but you, I, <laughs> I, I, yeah you <laughs> that's a but i would think that they're but it's called a tube, a tube. it's not called a cart like how oh, i'm in the next a car yeah what's that the next cart oh. go in the next cart that's how i hear them say mm -hmm. i'm not necessarily a new yorker but i've spent so yeah. much time there year after year and I, um, the next cart is not full, but it's spacious. People be mm -hmm. sitting down, people be crammed in the wall. Oh, it's, it, yeah. So if it's small, then that means it's going to be cramming. It or, it's or, or it's not tight because not like New York where you have to wait on a train and everybody's fighting to get in. Maybe it's different there. Maybe. Let's move on to number three. I love how English people wait patiently for people who are on the tube to get off before getting on the tube themselves. Woo! That is something that I just... After living in Korea for a couple years, you'll know that is not the case. As soon as the subway doors open and the train stops, everyone in Korea is just like pushing everybody else and getting on the, the subway as fast as they can. So it was nice to go to a place where everyone just stands aside and waits for those people who are on the train to get off, which is what should happen. This was actually so shocking that the very first time we rode the tube, when the doors opened and everyone was waiting for people to get off, Grace turned to me and made that observation. She's like, oh my gosh, they're they waiting wait. for people to get off. Like, what is what this? Is this? <laughs> Number four. This 
could just see this in New York. People be rushing in like, hurry up, it's my turn. Listen, I gotta go somewhere. We ain't waiting for, uh, and oh. I say we because I do it too because yeah. I'm following who's what because I can't ride a train. It's confusing as it come. I don't know my stop. I know where my stop is, but yeah, it's chaotic down there it to is. get the train to go where you go. So yeah, um, when it comes on to getting in and getting off, I have to be running with whosoever I'm traveling with to get on the train. And people are pushing the people coming off to yeah. get on because there's something that I noticed today. They don't hold, the door don't stay long quickly. No, it, it I mean for a long time. It does it's not open and it. Close, and that's so it. We gotta go. We, we, we got time. They, they don't, don't play. They don't play. <laughs> they don't and play. they always delayed. But I'm just saying, <laughs> it's always down, especially rush hour time. Oh mm. Jesus! It's yeah. So that's crazy. But ain't nobody waiting on nobody. This is just a really quick one, but light switches here are different than they are in the States. And whereas in the States and Korea and other countries, you flip on to turn the light switch you on. Flip up, yeah. Flip up, turn it turn on. Turn it on. And flip, flip down and turn it off. Here, uh, yeah, from what we've seen, you flip up to turn it off and flip down to turn it off. Number five, the other thing that we found. Hold on. We flip. Oh, we flip up too. Yeah. When we turn on the light, it's up. Yeah, we flip up. And down to turn it off. Turn it off. Interesting. Okay, the yes, that's what she said. Yeah. That's what okay, ours is down to turn off and up to turn off. No. No, we're down to turn off, up to turn on. And theirs is the opposite. opposite. That is interesting. I wonder why. And that is interesting indeed. Mm -hmm. oh. Surprising when we arrived in England was that outlets, power outlets, have to be switched on to use them. So it has like a little switch next to it and you have to turn it on in order yeah. to use electronic appliances. So so many times we've tried to boil like hot water for tea or coffee. Mm, or charge my phone. And you forget to switch the, the power outlet on and it doesn't charge or the water doesn't boil and you're like, ah. <sighs> I kind of like that though because as, as I heard someone say the other day, it prevents like children from sticking things into the sockets and getting electrocuted. So I like that yeah. idea. And then also like in America, when we go on vacation or something like that, you have to run around the house and unplug everything. So it's it doesn't, exhausting. it's not a firehouse. Or, or even like every night. You turn them, like, unplug yeah, them, you know? yeah. Here you just turn the outlets off. So that's actually kind of cool. It was shocking, but it's kind of cool. And we'll probably try to do that on our own house one day. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. Number six. That's a shocker right there. That's a big shocker. And you notice on the top of the switch, what does it, it say? It has like that, like a light bulb. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's not a light bulb. It's like a, the electric shock. I bet it's electric shock. <laughs> Lord Jesus, what am I going to do with you? <laughs> Guys, it have the word on. <laughs> no, there is something else I saw. Maybe because I have my glasses on. <laughs> I saw something totally different. It has the word on on the top on the switch. That was the, the wall. On. It wasn't the. I saw the. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, Let's continue. Because <laughs> that's what I was pointing to. I'm like, oh. It has the word on on the this the switch. You can and the, and she's right. You don't have to run plugging out every and anything. I you just turn it, it on. I saw something saw totally different. I saw the electric shock. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's so cool that they have that on. Wow, that is funny. <laughs> oh Jesus! I'm not wearing my glasses. Jeez, listen, put it on. Yeah. <laughs> Let's Ooh. continue, guys. Something else that has been a little shocking for us is that tipping here is a bit different than back in the States. Whereas in the States, when you go to a restaurant, any receipt that you get is going to have a tip line where you write the tip. Here at restaurants, they don't have that. And most cafes don't even have a tip jar. And so it's been really confusing for us to figure out what we do for tipping. I've heard also that tipping is super minimal here. Like, if at all, it's yeah. like just really minimal. So. That's definitely different than America, where as a server, you're like 20% or you're a bad table. Sort of yeah. Thing. Question though, for the English folk in the audience, when I'm at a restaurant and they give me a receipt that doesn't have a tip line or anything on it, what am I supposed to do? Do I tip or is you that just, just like a no table? tip? Yeah, do you leave yeah. it on the table or is that just like a, we all agree that there's no tipping going on in this situation? Please let me know down in the comments so I don't make any social faux pas. Number seven. Oh. 
Go ahead. <laughs> no. So my question is, if there's no tippy, tipping or minimal tipping, then are the waiters being paid like a livable wage? It makes sense because that's the only way. Here in America, it's not like that. Like in America, the how much they be making are like hourly wage. It's like $2.70. Sometimes it's like 75 cents because they really depend on the tips. They really do depend on those tips. I knew she was going to see that. No, I saw this video over at Island Girl already. So I got to see it. So no. Well, I didn't, I don't know. Maybe that on, but on switch, on the switch bypassed me because I didn't see that. So that was a shocker, that part. But no, baby, you don't tip. They get paid properly over Good. there. Not only that, it's like offensive in a sense to tip them. Oh, got that. okay. Pull it up. Sorry. They don't play. They don't play. Oh. You don't need to tip them. You don't need to leave the money on the table. I love that. I like that too. This culture here, though, with this tipping, is getting out of freaking hand. hand. I'm sorry. Almost every single place you go, you need to tip. I'm like, I don't need to tip you. You're not like. I'm sorry. Not like in a rude way, but like there are certain places that do not need like a tipping like a tipping service i'm sorry but but here if you notice now it's crazy everything have to, lately it's, it's it makes it's, no it's, sense it's messed up Money. and then and they look at you, you know and say to you oh there's a tipping oh yeah there's, oh no they don't say that there's like there's a question at the end that you might need to answer <laughs> you don't say nothing no more. i'm telling you <laughs> some, turn off nope some have it has happened to me so many times um there's a tipping area. Are you tipping when they, especially like if, if, if it's the truck you're buying ice cream from, or there's a tip section on the bottom telling you bluntly, mm -hmm. I ain't tipping. That's me. I ain't tipping. You know what? She tips where her heart feels to tip. <laughs> she knows <laughs> me. I don't play. I don't, guys, my money. Yeah. Listen, I don't play. Enough. She goes out with me. She's like, she be cracking up. Yeah. Because so she said to me, "Are you gonna tip?" I said, "Uh uh." She's I like, "With all this, me. with all this," and I'm like, "If my heart tells me," and I and I look, and the service is tacky with my oh. five kids. She be rolling. I order food. She be rolling. My facial expression tells you, "Don't play with me. Change your gloves." I don't care Ooh. if you just put it. She she be she be guys. I know I'm talking. She be rolling because I don't play that. And when you get a stinking attitude, you ain't getting my money. I ain't tipping you. No. I come here with my five kids. We need special treatment because they're very laid back and polite kids. Mm -hmm. So you see, when you come to my table, come with your best. I tip you. I don't play when I tip. But you got to be nice. You're not getting my money. Let's move on. I'll be chat about this all. <laughs> all evening, I'm number seven. Real quick, I was just going to mention that in grocery stores here in England, they generally have a much larger selection of cheese than they do back home in the States, which I'm not going to complain about. I love that. I think it's just a lot more in the culture here, I guess, than it is back home. Whereas back home, you usually only have like a couple different kinds of cheese to choose from and Cheddar, not like gouda yeah not like mozzarella or parmesan. mozzarella yeah not like specialty cheeses here you'll have like many <laughs> different types and they'll be different ages as well number eight this is one that is crazy you saw that stretch of white over the streets coming what out the night is, what kind of cheese is that comment below i'm curious i i'm not a cheese fanatic Never am I. but javon my young brother is but 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 the I always hear them say to me, cheese, you gotta mm. got you gotta come here and have cheese. Mm. Cause we got what we call cheese. Mm. Not what you guys call cheese. <laughs> and another thing that they that somebody said to me on Island Girl was like, You don't got butter. Oh <laughs> and, and when I think about it, it's true. It's not necessarily that's why they put butter on their toast and butter on a lot of things. And I get it, because after I watched a video and I sat down and I was in the kitchen. I'm like, you know what? That comment really got me. We really don't have butter. In Jamaica, I know what butter is. 
there's a there's a total it's difference. difference. One you hear a lot probably, but we don't know which direction to look when we cross the road. And this is for a couple of reasons. One, people here drive on the left side of the road, and so that's confusing. But two, there are also a ton of one-way streets here, both in London and yeah. in the villages that we've been in and, and towns. There's Lots of right. one-way streets that don't aren't obvious one-way streets. And so when we cross, it is so confusing to know which way to look. Which way to look. And so it's quite dangerous actually. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I am in fear of being struck by an automobile. <laughs> it sounded ridiculous. That was well, a, yeah. yeah. We're working on our English accent. That wasn't an English accent. No, it was me. <laughs> Sounding like an English person. <laughs> in London though, there is a nice I, I think it's so polite and courteous how they put on the ground like Look this way. Yeah. It's so funny. Oh. Before crossing the street, there's like paint oh, on the that. sidewalk that says, look left or look right mm -hmm. or look both ways. And so yeah. I thought that was kind of cool. I was That's like, cool. oh. That was really good. And these English yeah. folk have our back. Yeah. They know Maybe. They know we're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> now that is different driving on the left hand side. It's 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 different for us because we're on the right hand side. <laughs> but other parts of the world are on do drive on the left hand side. We just gotta be maybe this has to be different. They just try <laughs> to, be to be different. different. It's crazy. And the funny thing, when she said they don't know which way to look, you are you it don't make no sense to me. If it's a one way street, you but must how, know where yeah, to look. How could you not? Maybe because you're still looking. How can you? Oh, <laughs> we're excited, guys! Like so much. <laughs> How could you not know where to look? Does the sign not That's tell us in the beginning when you get to that street? Are you are you in the middle of nowhere? I need like a visual representation of what she's talking about because it, it it doesn't make sense to me. Like how confusing can it be? That's what I'm saying. It don't yeah. make no sense. Unless you like both come shoo shoo like. But there, but she like says a, a one way street. It's mostly one ways, but there should be like, uh, what's it called? The pedestrians is on site. Like they should have like the right of way, right? Like I said, they're in the middle of nowhere and they, there's nothing down the left and there's no house on the right, just strictly bush and they're going across. It <laughs> 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 oh, gotta be. It gotta be. Because <laughs> if that's they don't know where to look. Uh, there's gotta be bush on one side, bush on the other side, and they're coming out of a bush and they want to go across, and there's no sign up there to say it's a one-way street. How else you would know say it's a one-way street if it's not a one-way street? Mm. The sign tell you it's one way, don't it? Mm -hmm. So your it must tell you the one way going that way, don't it? Normally yeah. when it's a one-way street, it shows you which direction that is going, don't it? Yeah. Either going that way or it's going that way. So you would <laughs> it's just not making sense in my head. Maybe no, it's not. maybe I'm to see it. Maybe I'm a dummy bird, but it, it don't make sense. Number nine. This is more of a question, but it was also a very big culture shock. Mm. Why are there two separate spigots for hot and cold water? This like somebody please explain. I don't understand this. <laughs> like, do you want to wash your hands in freezing cold water or not kill any of the germs? Correct, but whatever that's what i think <laughs> or do you want to scald yourself so that you can't even feel and then you have to be fed by your husband for the next few days like yeah choose choose it is very confusing and this is not just something we've seen in homes but it's we've seen it in museums and churches and cafes and it's restaurants like everywhere in the restroom yeah. it's two separate two separate spigots and you get scalding hot water or you get ice and cold water and so like what I was doing, I know this is ridiculous, but yeah, throw I was just together. Like, <laughs> them together and like, <laughs> somebody explain, because somebody's got an explanation yeah, for why this reason. is better, I'm sure. Explain it to us. <laughs> it's not. Number you know what they said? They said spigot. Yeah, spigot. I was like, it's what? faucet. Yeah, faucet. Is it not faucet? It is called faucet. What's it? I think maybe it's called spigot over there. That's but that is confusing, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't make sense to me. Why have one that's like they said hot. cold and hot and then one's like freezing cold, but there's no in between. No, 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 there's no, there's one hot, one cold. Oh, they both well, do me for exactly you say like it's one that's like super I think they're exaggerating. But like I don't understand it. Like why are why not it just cold? one flowing out like yeah. how we're used to it? You turn it left, you get hot. Uh, Extremely hot. They turn it right, it goes cold. Yeah, cold. middle is like in between. Just yeah, just right. I'm curious, that is interesting. That means when you're going to the show, it's prop. <laughs> That's good. I wonder for the it's prop. It's prop. Question. Yes. 
is the shower the same way i, I never that. thought of that till now is the shower the same way because it's problem boy <laughs> that is a problem. <laughs> <Nice bathing. laughs> i'm gonna bathe i'm going to catch a water in a pond turn on yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not pond you know guys in a pan so pour the hot water in first then put the cold water in and splash up and bathe like when we're living mm, in the countryside. Yeah, just like back home. <laughs> yep. And no other, no other way, cause it can't be. You know what? Number ten, cause we're chat. <laughs> Number ten. It was shocking to us how much people jaywalk here. We had been warned by friends that hey, just you know, in London it's okay to jaywalk. But when we came here, it was just surprising to see how frequently everyone jaywalks. Literally, everyone jaywalks. All the, All the time. time. Yeah, it's constant jaywalking. And we're coming from Seattle, which is, I think, in the United States, we are famous for being a city that no one jaywalks in. So it was really shocking to come to England and yeah. no one, it's just like constant jaywalking. jaywalking. Look, look, run, look, look, run. Which makes you feel extremely stressed out as mm -hmm. foreigners because we don't know which way to look. So we're like, oh, we have to, we can't just wait for this light, which is going to last forever. We yeah. should jaywalk. Then we don't know which direction the cars are coming from. So if we jaywalk, we might die. <laughs> so it's kind of like, uh, and then you know who the foreigners are because they're the ones they're that the are waiting ones. for the light. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If we did enjoy this video, to be honest with you. We certainly did enjoy the video. <laughs> but seriously, sis, jaywalking. You know, to me, it made sense because, like, it's a big. It's a big city. It makes sense that they would jaywalk. Back home, it's very common to jaywalk. Like, it's not a crime to make us in. Yeah, they're running like, down the street all the time. All those cars. Like, it makes sense. U.S. just come up with their makeup stuff. Mm -hmm. Jaywalk. But they're charging it. I've never seen them. no one get arrested for jaywalk. I've never seen that. I've never it seen happen, it, too. But it's not. But it, it, it's funny. It, you can get charged for it. But I've never really heard anybody get arrested for oh. it. No, seriously. It's, it's, it's a law, yeah, it but have law. you ever seen anybody arrested for jail? No, I would jail many... in front of a cop, sorry. Like, they don't really don't care like that. I ain't taking the chance. <laughs> I did! did oh, know? you did it? Yeah! Oh, when I'm saying there. I'm not taking that chance. I've done it. Like, they, like, it wasn't like in, a, it was like that in our neighborhood. Like, it wasn't like on a busy road. Some people don't have busy roads. The neighbor... Oh, jeez. <laughs> no! <laughs> Listen, they just say in the neighborhood before you go on to the main road. So it's like a, around that. Table. You don't have the, the neighborhood don't count <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry. Yo. That's where I've got you, it. You I don't do the main road. I'm sorry. <laughs> and this That's a bit too much going out with the cars left and right. Like, uh -huh. You cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> the neighborhood has nothing. I'm talking about on the main road. No, I can't do the main road. Like that. So don't tell nobody you jaywalk. <laughs> it doesn't count. It does not count. Guys, this is the girl's V. And Sin. And we had we we cool today. <laughs> yeah. Don't know where my brain is at. Listen, she first she can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Can I see? First she can't see. Something totally different. Now she saw something. Now no, she jaywalking in her neighborhood. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wait, so that means I jaywalk when I go across the street. <laughs> Hi, Raya. Come on, mama. It's your girl. We're running out of here because she, she cuckoo. We did enjoy this video. The link for this will be in. Yep. Come on over. The link for this one will be in the description below. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab your glass of wine. Sit back and enjoy this video. Let us know what you want us to do next in the comment section. We got you. Love you guys. Bye. And we'll see you guys in another one. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>